What's up guys? It's 4.36 p.m. Welcome to the vlog. I apologize for not starting until now. And in the trend of decorating, I have begun this project. I've stopped here, however, because I've run out of lights. Uh, a whole bunch of them had broken since last year. Some were just really dim with half the bulb was burnt out. So I've thrown those away. And I need uh, what I'm guessing to be about 500 more, or so five strings of 100 approximately to finish this off. The rest of the branches are still downstairs. I've been in the process of bringing those up. Um, what I have done, I'm happy with so far, so I just need to uh, go get more lights. But my dad's coming over here at five. Um, he has, I'm giving him some ties. He had some of his own here, and then I had some that I didn't wear anymore. So here's some ties that he needs for starting a job. Uh, it's not guaranteed yet. There's still a couple things he needs to go through to ensure it. Um, but it would be at Cleveland Clinic, which I think most of you have heard of. It's one of the best hospital systems in the world. Um, or right next to, I think it's John Hopkins in Baltimore, D.C. area. Uh, but the Cleveland Clinic is really good. Uh, so he'd be, uh, I think, an IT operations manager or something over there uh, in Euclid, Ohio, then moving over to near Legacy Village. Uh, that'd be awesome, starting December 12th. So he needs some ties and stuff. Doesn't have to wear a suit there, but he needs to, you know, dress better. So I'm going to take a shower um, to go over there to dinner and uh, give him the mail and crap that needs to be did. But it's been raining most of the day. It's beautiful Seattle out there, whatever. Whatever, I'm inside doing Christmas crap. It's supposed to snow Wednesday and Friday, and I actually hope it does. That would make everything look super nice. I actually haven't worn a watch all day, so... That's new for me to come up here and look and not see one of them missing. So I'll shower, pick one out, get dressed, and uh, I don't know where we're going to eat, uh, but we're going to take the X5, not the M5, and um, I'll catch in shortly. Check in shortly. You don't catch in shortly. Just for the hell of it, see if anybody can name this car. My grandfather got it about 10 years ago, gave it to me about 9 years ago when I was little, so I broke a couple things on it, but it's still in pretty good shape. We'll see if anybody actually knows what it is. Oh, freaking right! All right. 4.56, he'll be here in four or five minutes, and uh, we're gonna grit some grub, as I said, and it's getting darker, and it's it's been a mist all day, a slow mist, which I guess is better than an all day piss pour in terms of, well, the problem is the ground is completely saturated from all the water we've had, so the rain hits, and as you can see, just puddles all over the sidewalk, and then it comes up to the front of the house here, to the foundation, and, uh, and puddles up against it, which is not good. Um, but there's no basement here under the porch. That's kind of uh, cordoned off and then filled with dirt. So that's a bit of a buffer zone. The basement doesn't actually start till here, downstairs. And then it doesn't go over the front part of the living room, a.k.a. my office, neither. The good news is it's relatively warm out here, right around 55 degrees, which is somewhat unheard of for this time of year. But hey, you know what? I'll take it. Um, I am ready for some snow, but I'll take this while we can have it. Getting gas after dinner. Here's the X5. He's in getting his. We had a coupon for two dollars off ten gallons or more, so he's doing that. I'm gonna get in the car because it's getting colder now. It's down to about 45 degrees. Just freaking lovely. He got the new floor mats in here. See if we can turn on some light. Um, the ones from Eagle Day. They're pretty much the same ones that I have. They're really nice. But uh, here's what things look like in here. He's got the aluminum trim, which is really nice. I like it. And here, and uh, as Jeremy pointed out, there is the uh, very cool glove box switch. Friggin' right. Well, that is a change of scenery now, isn't it? Every time I come up to a stop sign, I am looking for a clutch. Every time I pull away from a stop sign, I'm looking for a clutch. And, uh, you know, there's not a clutch, so this is just dicked. Anyways, I had to take Cannon home. He came over for a little bit. And um, I took the Honda over because I haven't driven the M5 all day and it's definitely not clean but I didn't want to pull it out just to drive it in the rain and it wouldn't even get warmed up. So this has been out all day. The brakes are so touchy. Obviously this is the Accord, the 07. It's got 50,325 miles on it. Um, and it's really touchy. I miss the Xenon lights. I can just tell the halogens aren't anywhere near as good as Xenons. I don't know why Honda doesn't do that. And obviously to save money, but this is the EXV6. You would think that the better Accords would have that, but I guess not. Everything else is good though. I mean, it, it feels pretty tight. It's got a third the miles on it, my car does. And the mirror is nowhere near right. <clears throat> but, uh, pretty good.
done. It is uh, 1.30 in the morning, and that's all done, and I'm very tired. So that's what it looks like, and I'm going to bed. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night.